Benadryl is a common over-the-counter drug and this video will examine the nine most common questions asked about the drug Benadryl including the drug's side effects. Coming up. Welcome to Think Your Health. On this channel, we'll give you tips and advice as well as educate you about health-related medical concepts to promote healthy aging. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. So what is Benadryl? Benadryl is an antihistamine that reduces the effects of the natural chem uh, chemical histamine in the body. Histamine can produce symptoms of sneezing, itching, watery eyes, and a runny nose. The generic term for Benadryl is diphenhydramine. So what is it used for? It is used to relieve coughing. It is also used to ease allergy signs such as itching, runny nose, eyes, and hives. It is also used to help with symptoms of motion sickness like nausea, vomiting, dizziness. It is used to treat sleep problems. It is also used to treat symptoms like Parkinson's disease caused by other health problems. One of the reasons I wanted to talk to you about Benadryl is about the positive side effects, but also about the negative side effects of Benadryl. Let's start off with a positive story. So one of the patients I was taking care of, he had multiple medical problems, including psychiatric illness. And because of his psychiatric illness, he was unfortunately on multiple antipsychotic drugs. And one of the side effects of antipsychotic drugs, it can stiffen you up and it can cause a tremor as well. And it can stiffen you up in various parts of your body. And in this case, when he was in the office setting, he started stiffening up in his neck area. Unfortunately, I was not in the clinic during that time. In fact, I was seeing another patient elsewhere and I got a call from my clinic nurse describing these symptoms that he was stiffening up and I knew that he was on several antipsychiatric drugs. I told her to give the patient Benadryl and he responded to the medication over some time and this promptly helped with, this, uh, with the side effect of the anti-Parkinson's drugs and so we used the positive effect of Benadryl to help with the stiffness in the neck. So is it okay to take Benadryl as a sleep aid? For people who take an antihistamine such as Benadryl for a cold or allergies, drowsiness is often a welcome side effect. Would I recommend it to be taken as a sleeping aid? The simple answer is no, absolutely not, especially in older adults. Use of Benadryl can lead to sleepwalking and other sleep-related disorders, especially if used regularly. How quickly does Benadryl work? Benadryl is quickly absorbed after oral administration and peak effects are reached within one hour. The effects of diphenhydramine last for about four to six hours. So is Benadryl safe for older adults? There's evidence that the use of diphenhydramine among older adults or the elderly may result in serious side effects. This holds true especially if you're older than the age of 65. The older a person becomes, the greater the risk of adverse effects. Benadryl is listed as a potentially inappropriate medication in older adults. This list of medications is also called the Beers criteria. Can Benadryl cause dementia? Common anticholinergic drugs like Benadryl are linked to an increased dementia risk. In a report published in JAMA Internal Medicine, researchers offer compelling evidence of a link between long-term use of anticholinergic medications like Benadryl and dementia. If you're finding value in this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. So how should I take Benadryl? Typical doses for Benadryl are for adults take one to two tablets or capsules every four to six hours as needed. The maximum daily dose per PDR or prescriber's digital reference and up to date is 300 milligrams per day. If you're taking the liquid version of Benadryl, use the dosing syringe provided or with a special dose measuring soup or medicine cup. For motion sickness, take D-phenhydramine 30 minutes before you will be in a situation 
which causes motion sickness such as a long car ride or a boat travel or a boat ride. Continue taking a Benadryl with meals at bedtime. For the rest of the time, you'll be in a situation uh, with motion sickness. I do not advise to take Benadryl as a sleeping aid. This medication can affect the results of allergy skin tests, so tell your doctor, especially before you're getting those, that type of skin test. So what are common side effects? Dizziness, drowsiness, dry mouth, constipation, dry eyes, blurred vision, or daytime drowsiness, or hangover feeling after nighttime use. Nausea, loss of appetite. So what are serious side effects? pounding, heartbeat or fluttering in your chest. You know, it can increase your blood pressure and your heart rate, especially in patients with underlying heart disease. Painful or difficult urination, especially with people with BPH, also an enlarged prostate. Little or no urinating. Confusion, which is called delirium in older adults. In patients with glaucoma, it can worsen the disease by increasing the pressure in your eye this is also called the intraocular pressure. If you have thyroid disease with low thyroid levels, it can, it can exacerbate the sluggishness and drowsiness that are common side effects of antihistamines. One of the bad things about Benadryl is a side effect, especially in older adults. Did you know that Benadryl cannot be used or should not be used in older adults and it belongs to a list of medications which are inappropriate to be used, especially in older adults above the age of 65. And one of the side effects is it can cause sleepiness, drowsiness and sluggishness as well. And this uh, can cause a hangover, especially when the older adult gets up in the morning and they can get up and because they feel sluggish or drowsy, they are more inclined to fall and God forbid, break their hip. So question of the day, did you know that Benadryl could be used for Parkinson's disease-like symptoms? Leave your answers in the comments below. Thank you for checking out this channel. Don't forget to like, comment and smash the subscribe button. If you can't smash it, at least touch it or push it. And if you want to see more videos, click up here or click up here, click up here, click down there. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, with a special dose of medicine soup. Um, spoon. Oh, medicine cup.